Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share today's cooking video with you because it's something we don't do every day. Some might think it's intimidating to make, but it's very, very easy. You just have to do the right technique. Today, we will be making country-style meatloaf. What is usually the challenge when making meatloaf? Dryness. How to avoid dry meatloaf? I'll let you in on a little secret of mine. Use wet bread. Yes, wet bread instead of breadcrumbs. What is breadcrumbs? It's dry bread, and it tends to draw out moisture from the eggs, the meat, the whole mixture, and you end up with dry meatloaf. But when you use wet bread, I guarantee you juicy and flavorful meatloaf. If you want to know how, watch until the end of the video for the whole procedure and the list of ingredients. Tara, let's cook! Here's what you need. Ground beef. I like mine 80% lean and 20% fat. Chopped onions. Chopped green bell pepper. You can definitely use red, whatever pleases you. Two eggs, beaten. Generous amount of garlic powder. Salt. Remember, all types of meat love salt, so be generous in this recipe. Worcestershire sauce and wet bread so you want to soak the bread in cold water for about one minute and then squeeze them you'll also need bacon strips now let's begin by mixing all the ingredients together just dump them in Give it a good mixing, massaging your mixture, but make sure you have clean hands. Remember with this recipe, you can definitely add or omit something. You can add in raisins or carrots or bacon bits, whatever you like. You can even do a combination of ground beef and ground pork. Just eyeball the amount of salt that you put in, making sure it's seasoned well. Next, line your loaf pan with the bacon strips, just like this one, and put in your meatloaf mixture. And then, gently but snugly fold in the bacon strips to wrap the meatloaf. Now that we are done with the assembly, we are ready to bake this. You can definitely use your oven, but I like to use my turbo convection oven. And I'd cook this for 40 at 200 degrees. After the wait, we are now ready to slice and serve. There you have it, our country style meatloaf. You can serve this with gravy and mashed potato or rice. Here's the list of ingredients. If you have any questions about the recipe, just comment down below and I'd be glad to answer. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!